Joshua Fox, a staff member of Keys FM, has spoken out about his shocking altercation with Hollywood hottie Jacob Elordi over the weekend. Around 3.30 p.m. on Saturday, the alleged altercation took place outside the Cloverly Hotel in Sydney's eastern suburbs. Following reports of a 26-year-old reportedly assaulting a 32-year-old, NSW police announced that an inquiry had been opened. Fox said that the Euphoria star grabbed him by the throat and pushed him against a wall during their on-air discussion of the incident on the Kyle and Jackie O show on Monday. Fox was dispatched by Keys FM to the Cloverly Hotel in order to film the Lordy, who was present together with two men and a woman. Fox claimed that before approaching the actor from the kissing booth, he waited for him to exit the venue. Fox requested the actor in jest to give radio DJ Jackie O. Henderson a sample of his bathwater. The request alludes to a notorious scene from Elordi's breakout popular movie, in which Elordi's character drinks the used bathwater of another character. Then, according to him, Elordi, who is 1.96 meters tall, got up in his face and backed him against a wall, while Fox was prevented from moving away by his two male buddies who were positioned on either side of him. I couldn't move, so I was thinking that something was going to happen here, and I was feeling really intimidated. Fox replied, They're all huddled up against this wall, surrounding me. Then he said that a lordy made him remove the video of the incident. When a lordy ordered Fox to remove the file from his recently deleted files folder, Fox said he first compiled and did so. However, Fox later refused. I believe that if I remove this video, there will be no proof that this interaction occurred, Fox remarked. He stated he was intimidated by the circumstances and that Elordi began acting aggressively. Then, according to Fox, Elordi flipped, allegedly shoving the man against a wall and snatching him by the throat. One of Elordi's two male friends allegedly intervened to remove the actor from him, according to Fox. A few moments afterward, Fox claimed he hurriedly made his way back to the bar, inspiring one of Elordi's male companions to trail behind him. Fox was confronted by the man friend, who insisted that he keep quiet to the media. Make sure that video goes nowhere. He told me. Remind me not to tell anyone about this, forcing me to give him a handshake. Once more, it intimidated me, Fox remarked. The Kyle and Jackie O show's Monday morning broadcast included audio from the run-in as well. Video producer Fox claimed to be a huge fan of the movie Saltburn, so he contacted Elordi with an empty jar, asking the actor to fill it with his bathwater and send it to the studio for host Jackie O. Henderson. You're kidding, Elordi said, seeming irritated. He then inquired, Are you filming? And Fox responded that he was. Man, could you please not? Stated Elordi. Fox was forced to remove the video, according to co-host Kyle Sanderlands, but he was able to recover it from his freshly erased archives. Fox made a courteous request to stop filming, and Fox appeared to comply with Elordi's request promptly, according to the audio. In response to the run-in on Monday's episode, Jackie stated, Josh went down there on Saturday afternoon after learning that Jacob was at one of the nearby hotels. He waited outside the hotel rather than going inside since he didn't want anyone to infringe on his solitude. Jacob didn't seem to think it was humorous that Fox gave him this Tupperware container with the words Jacob's bathwater printed on it. There were no injuries sustained by the man. A NSW police official stated, We're still looking into the incident. Later on the Kyle and Jackie O show, celebrity entertainment reporter Peter Ford offered his thoughts on the situation, contending that Fox had provoked Delorty. The 26-year-old Australian actor caused a stir earlier this month when, in his GQ Men of the Year cover story, he made derogatory remarks about the The Kissing Booth movie franchise, in which he appeared from 2018 to 2021. Those movies are ridiculous, and I didn't want to make them before I made them he said to the outlet. They're not applicable to everyone. They provide a way out. However, Elordi has been publicly criticized by the Kissing Booth fans, who labeled him ungrateful and disrespectful to his former co-workers. 
Jacob Elordi ought to realize that when he mishandles a project like this, he's not only mishandling the creators and his co-stars, but also the fans. Penned one user. Numerous admirers find great significance in the films. They said, Don't write them off because you moved up a peg overnight. Another concurred, saying, I detest actors who minimize their modest upbringings from which their careers sprung. Elordi's second feature film appearance was in The Kissing Booth, where he broke box office records and quickly became well-known. As he films his part as Australian Imperial Force soldier Durigo Evans for the five-episode Amazon Prime video series of Richard Flanagan 2013, novel The Narrow Road to the Deep North, Elordi is now in Australia. The third season of Euphoria, which features a five-year time jump, will have Elordi reprising his role as psychopathic East Highland High School quarterback Nate Jacobs. Filming for the season began in December.